<laughs> oh, I told you so. I, I told you so. Excuse me while I, I gloat for a minute here, but I got a lot of heat, specifically from a lot of bandwagon 49er fans that, you know, decided to, to, to not like my prediction I gave in my NFL video last week saying that the Baltimore Ravens were going to go on and win the Super Bowl, uh, win their third underdog game in a row. I, in a row, I told you they were just going to win outright. They were going to win outright. Not only did I tell you they were going to win outright, I said the Ravens were going to win by three points. What was the final score? 34 to 31. What else did I see in my video last week? Hmm, let me think back. And feel free to watch it for yourself. I'm not making this shit up. I said Je Jerry Rice. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Excuse me, Randy Moss, Mr. Not Jerry Rice. I said Randy Moss was going to get shut down and that he was only going to get 40 yards receiving. What did Jerry Rice end up getting? Hmm, he got two receptions for 41 yards. I got his prediction within one yard. Oh, whoa, oh, you was, yeah, yeah, you, you were poor back in the 49ers, weren't you, Crixus? Yes, you were. You should cry. You should cry because your prediction sucks. Crixus, Crixus decided to be a Kaepernick fan last week, and look where that got him. Yeah, you're on the loser train. Come on, sing the song with me, Crixus. You're doing a terrible job. You're, way, you're not even in tune, Crixus. Anyway, all you 49ers fans. Mmm. I can, I can smell, I can smell the stench of losing! Anyway, now, yes, I pretty much nailed my predictions of this game. Um, to, to a number of you guys that claim to be betting on the predictions that I've been making in the playoffs, you're welcome. People are claiming that they're betting on what I've been saying and making them a lot of money. But anyway, um... I, what can I say? Even I'm stunned with how well my predictions went for the playoffs here. I only got two games wrong the entire playoff run. I predicted three, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, three underdog upsets by the Baltimore Ravens. Predicted them to win the Super Bowl. <sighs> but my God. All this aside, Baltimore, San Francisco really should have won that game. Um, <laughs> it's just to kind of jump to the end of the game, and there was a lot, a lot of other things to go over on in this game, um, including Crixus coming in front of the camera. Um, please don't hit the camera, Crixus. Um, this was a good game. This was probably, oh, okay. Uh, this was probably one of the best Super Bowls I've seen. Now, I tweeted right after the game, I said, you know, this was... This was the best Super Bowl I've seen in my lifetime. And once I got to digest things, I was like, mm, the the two the two Rams Super Bowls uh, where they faced the Titans and the um, and the Patriots. I, I put those two Super Bowls above this, um, especially especially that first one that the Rams won, where um, Steve McNair passed to Mason and he got to like the one yard line. And the game ended there. That that. That was probably the best Super Bowl I've seen in my lifetime, but I, I'd say this Super Bowl was one of the top three in my lifetime. Um, great game, but again, all predictions aside and all the ability to gloat aside, I have no real rooting interest in either team, but San Francisco lost this game because they deserve to lose this game. This, when they got down to the five-yard line with two minutes and change left, uh, one, they waste a timeout that they could have used. But anyway, when you get to the five-yard line and the biggest pass rush, the biggest pass rushing lineman, pass, excuse me, pass rush, rushing stopper, pass rusher, whatever you want to call it, and um, Haloni Nada was out of the game at this point. When San Francisco got down to the five-yard line, I was like, they're just going to rush Frank Gore if need be four times, and they're going to get in the end zone. I don't know what Jim Harbaugh was thinking. He picked what is quite possibly the worst set of four down play calls that I could have ever seen. I never, never could have predicted that he was going to go for such low percentage plays 
And I know everyone's upset because we saw the off excuse me, the defensive holding on that fourth down. But let's be realistic, people. Yeah, we know it's holding. Yeah, we know the ref's not gonna fl throw the flag. Should he? Could he? Yeah, he could have. But the game's over. It's done. San Francisco deserved to lose just from that selection of play calls alone. It should have never came to fourth down. Never. And even if there wasn't holding, it's arguable as to whether or not they would have got the reception inbounds. Because it was Kaepernick throwing a fade route to the outside, and it might not even have been caught even if there wasn't holding or interference of any sort of on Baltimore's end. That was a very good close-up of Crixus's nose. Anyway, um, yeah, great game, but uh, th that's the one thing that pissed me off. The one thing that pissed me off about that game is, is the very end. And to all those people um, you know, that are still upset that, that Ray Lewis used deer antler spray, um, again, do you think Ray Lewis had a severe impact in this game? Did you see him sloppy arm and again outrun on every other tackle opportunity? I mean, my God, it's, it's not like Baltimore had a severe advantage with him in the game. So everyone, get that Deer Antler shit out of here, all right? No one cares about that now. Having Ray Lewis in the game arguably hurt the Ravens rather than getting any other middle linebacker off the bench to replace him. So, uh, again, one of the top three Super Bowls. Um, thank God Baltimore won because so much more would have been made out of that blackout. Um, Beyonce's halftime performance. It's all right, I guess. What do you think of Beyonce's halftime performance, Girl Fiend? No. There you go. That's Girl Fiend's, um... It was better than the Black Eyed Peas. There you go. It was. It actually was. It was nice to have someone that was relevant instead of someone really, really old. Yes. Okay, I thought you were correlating that to the Black Eyed Peas, but I see what you said there. Okay. Um, so, game's over, um, and... Why Jim Harbaugh, even in the in the the after game press conference, is still harping about that non holding call? It's like the game's over. There was a number of bad calls in this game. Do you remember when your kicker David Akers had a flop on a missed field goal, and they called that for roughing the kicker? How about that time that the Ravens were hit late out of bounds and that call didn't get made and the Raven the Ravens drive stopped? How about that bad call? You don't hear you don't hear the other team bitching about it. of course I know the team that won isn't going to complain but still the point being is there are bad calls on both sides of the game. Get over it Jim. The champion has been decided. Crying about it after the game isn't going to solve anything. My god, all I, all I could hear when Jim Harbaugh was on the sidelines bitching and moaning and even after the game is that um, that bad lip reading video where they show they show his clip and he's going, I want cake now, I want cake now. Anyway, um, that was Jim Harbaugh in that part of the video. By the way, by the way, that bad lip reading thing was funny as shit with the NFL people. Um, yeah, um, but to all you bandwagon 49ers fans, ha ha ha, have fun with that read option shit because defenses are going to figure that out. I don't know why so many people are relying on that. I mean, we saw that Vic got nowhere with that through his, throughout his entire career. Uh, a number of quarterbacks have, have tried. Well, I mean, Vic didn't so much do a read option, to be fair. It's more the, the Kaepernick and RG3 and, to a lesser extent, in Seattle as well. Um, yeah, um, it's, it's over. The champion has been decided, and... Uh, congratulations to Baltimore, and I gotta apologize to Joe Flacco because I was one of these people that said, you know, he's no more than a Donovan McNabb, and, you know, he wears number five, coincidentally. I said he would never win a championship, and he proved someone like me wrong. Um, yeah, I, I, how can you not give him props for this? Um, would I call him an elite quarterback? Um, I, I, I would need to see him at least make a Pro Bowl or two, or at least put up elite stats in the regular season before I'd say it, but you know what? There's no one that can argue that this was one of the single greatest playoff runs in NFL history. Winning against a future star in Andrew Luck and the Colts. Going on the road in Denver beating one of the greatest quarterbacks ever play the game in Peyton Manning. Going into New England in the AFC Championship and being a perennial Super Bowl appearer. 
A peerer. Is that a word, girl, Fiend? A peerer? No. Okay, I just made up a word. Learn English. Anyway, um, beating Belichick, Tom Brady, and the we can't cheat no more, so we can't win a Super Bowl Patriots. Um, and then going into the Super Bowl, three underdog games in a row. How can you how can you deny Joe Flacco an ounce of greatness? Um, even Steve the Meek, I'm sorry to out you, Steve the Meek, the, our fellow resident Ravens fan here. Um, even he had his doubts earlier. I'm sorry if I had to bring up some of your previous comments, Steve, but even he um, had his doubts about him. But you know what? The Ravens knew they had a winner there. They got rid of Cam Cameron, brought in a guy that was going to more suit this offense, and Jesus Christ, did this team this team shut a lot of people up, including myself, that doubted. Joe Flacco at the helm here. Isn't that right, Crixus? Isn't that right, Crixus? Isn't that right, Crixus? Oh my god, 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 oh Oh, Jesus Christ. He knocked me over and messed up my glasses. Oh, anyway. Um, one other final note I want to add before we go out here. Um, two notes, actually. Um, the, the NFL of the game, um, Jacoby Jones should have got MVP of this game. Um, no offense to Joe Flacco. Um, no, I'm not too particularly upset that... Are you okay, Crixus? He's like rubbing his face into the ground and sticking his He's ass into the He's rubbing his ears. Anyway, um, Jacoby Jones should have been the MVP of this game. Um, he's responsible for 14, well, if you don't, you know, the extra points included. Um, he's responsible for 14 points being scored in this game on that kickoff return which is basically the single reason why they stood a shot in staying in this game in the second half because total momentum shift to San Francisco in the second half. And that 50-some-odd-yard touchdown reception where he fell to the ground, got up, juked and faked out the corner and took it into the end zone. Unbelievable. That, that is two of arguably some of the best Super Bowl highlight clips you're going to see in Super Bowl history. And... It was done by the same guy. Um, granted, that's really the only two major plays he had in that game. Um, but as far as field position goes and his, his punt returns and kickoff returns, um, he, kept, he kept Baltimore in a good, solid starting spot. And uh, trust me, someone of the, a fan of the Philadelphia Eagles who barely, barely saw my team start from the 25-yard line or beyond, um, I, would, I would take the worst kickoff return Jacoby Jones had in that Super Bowl. Um, it's just uh, amazing, amazing talent. Um, he should have been Super Bowl MVP, but, you know, Joe Flacco, he's nice as well. Um, <laughs> Joe Flacco's victory speech yesterday, um, he, he's, he's like that guy who's never spoken, spoke in front of a crowd before, or I guess it is spoken anyway. Um, girlfriend didn't correct me, so I just kind of just kept going there. Um, <laughs> he he kind of he kind of talked at the podium, and even girlfriend was saying, "It's like, what is he? What is he looking at notes?" But you could see the the podium was transparent. It was just like, um, yeah, Baltimore, we did it. We're the we're the champions. And like his head was down the whole time. <laughs> just it was so cute. Um, anyway, as someone who has no problem speaking in front of crowds, it's just like you know so adorable when you see someone that just looks so nervous. But. He's, he's just a good quarterback. He's not the type of guy that's going to go in the end zone, slam the ball down, flex, and moonwalk. He's just, uh, I'm just here to get the job done, and that's all I'm here to do, and I don't really have any glitz or glamour to go along with it. Um, one last thing, two last things here. I know I'm dragging this video on here, but um, Ray Lewis and his whole quote of what he said when he was accepting the Lombardi Trophy at the end of the game, the whole quote of... Um, when when God is with you, who can be against you? Um, that was the single most dumbest thing that a sports icon has ever said in victory. Because it's the whole saying, um, clearly God has embraced me and the Ravens and not embraced the 49ers. Because God, God would be so superficial to be like that. Just the fact that he uttered those words and honestly believes that is just, is just so idiotic. I, and you know what? We won't hear about him for another five years till he's inducted into the Hall of Fame, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Great career, greatest middle linebacker I've ever seen in my lifetime. No taking away from his game on the field. Deserves to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Will be. Uh, but you know what? Shut up. Just shush. Enough with the talking. Which is what you're saying to me right now. So, I just want to end on thanking you guys 
for a great series of football videos here, um, you know, around 1,500 or so of you just keep coming back, and a lot of you have been sending me emails about this, tweeting me about these videos, that you've liked them, and you love Crixus in them. Everyone loves the Crixus! Everyone loves the Crixtifer Columbus! Even though you're a Tony Romo supporter! You evil Tony Romo lover! You don't even know good football! Anyway, thank you guys, it's been a hell of a season, and... That's it for the football videos. Everyone that hates these, you won't see them until the beginning of next season. I'll do another um, uh, preseason review and predictions video just like I did this past year. Anyways, everyone, thank you. Tune in next year. Crixus, say goodbye to everyone. <laughs> goodbye! Support Tony Romo! <laughs> He's, he's gonna win the Super Bowl. That's a stupid thing to say. How dare you end my video with that? How dare you end with such black... Oh, you wanna fight? You wanna fight? Oh, don't. I'll make you tap out. I'll make you tap out. Oh, I learned this from Henzo Gracie and the evil jiu-jitsu schools of Brazil. Tap out. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh. <laughs> he got you. Son of a bitch. Anyway, thank you, guys. Um, I gotta go to the hospital now. Have a great day, guys.